Welcome to 99th Monkey Liberty News for Thursday, February 13th, 2014. The first article I have to look at today is from IntelliHub. Fifth banker in less than a month dies mysteriously. And uh, yesterday I read somewhere that uh, these, these, the, these five now are uh, more notable, but that there have been many others who have, uh, at a lower level, who have also been uh, losing their lives recently. So it appears that something is going on under the surface. This is uh, a, an older article from Fritz Springmeier uh, just, just a week or so ago. New Developments in Trauma-Based Mind Control and I have a couple other mind control articles. Uh, it kind of caught my eye this morning because John Rappaport wrote this blog and posted it, I think, yesterday. And uh, mind control research and freedom. And he has some really good information in the, uh, the history of mind control. And as I was reading over this, I was uh, just thinking about having read that uh, some of the uh, origins of mind control having come out of the Spanish Inquisition. And this is information from Kathy O'Brien. If you've never read her book or Bryce Taylor's book, uh, you can kind of play catch up a little bit, get the gist of, of Kathy O'Brien's story at this uh, web site and um, I, I highlighted here the search terms that I was looking for because it is it is a fairly long article so uh, you, you might want to give yourself a few minutes to read over it but indeed I mean the, just the, the trauma-based mind control uh, they learned in the Spanish Inquisition that when people have been severely traumatized they are easily led. So there, this is the, the whole aspect of mind control it has a very, very dark history and it has a lot to do with human suffering, although uh, there can be more subtle forms of mind control that we endure at this time, even if we're not a part of a... Uh, secret government program like Kathy O'Brien was, there's this broader scale secret government program to mind control all of us and certainly that has to do with the internet and entertainment and uh, what, what we see, what our focus goes to and if people can direct our focus to some extent they can mind control us especially if, if we're already struggling with uh, lack of good health and a calcified pineal gland and, uh, and other affronts to our ability to process information correctly. From The Guardian, Internet Governance to U.S. Centric, says European Commission. Uh, I think that you, people are realizing how much control corporations and uh, U.S. centric governments exercise over some of these issues. And this is a particularly significant topic today uh, because Comcast takeover of Time Warner cable to reshape US pay TV. And of course Comcast is not just pay TV. Comcast is also a huge internet provider. So the things that Comcast does uh, really impact upon our, our use of the internet. And I had that article last week or maybe the week before from a man's, it was actually a man's blog who interfaced with Verizon and they admitted to him that they are throttling cloud services such as Netflix. 
So these, the, the larger these corporations get, the less freedom we will have, the fewer choices we will be able to make. And uh, I would really like to see a lot of little ISPs spring up. But, you know, these, these companies know how to sweep people in. They can, uh, they can promise fast speeds and reasonable prices and great service. And so, you know, we buy into these. We, we become their customers. And then when enough people, when they've scooped up enough people, they can begin to make decisions and, and we lose a greater degree of freedom. And, of course, that's precisely what antitrust laws were crafted to prevent, at least ostensibly. And uh, antitrust laws are not really protecting us at all from big corporations. From Infowars.com, Washington orchestrated protests are destabilizing Ukraine. I've mentioned this before, and I'm hoping this doesn't become a big issue. LaRouche Pack, I think, believes that it is a big issue. Russian leaders see plans for U.S. NATO war with Russia over Ukraine. So the certainly the evil cabal with, is trying to amp this up, trying to create as many problems as possible. And if they could start World War III, I'm sure they would be delighted. From RT, a little bit lighter news. Nuclear fusion breakthrough. U.S. scientists make crucial step to limitless power and this this is great news on a broad scale uh, more specifically I, I'm not sure I think you know we would be better off with something that permits people to easily live off the grid because let's face it as long as we are on the grid there's there's still the potential for someone to uh, control and throttle how much energy we're allowed to use, whether the energy comes from big oil or coal or a limitless source. I mean, if they want to, you know, there is abundance on the earth. And a lot of the scarcity that we experience is manufactured scarcity. So something like this that happens on a, on a large scale that would be tied into the existing grid uh, it may not actually help us all that much. As I said, I, I would much rather see the release of more a new technology that permits people to live off the grid. But we can certainly follow this, and uh, there's great potential here. I have a couple of articles about mayors who have uh, gotten themselves into some trouble. Here from Views is a story, New York mayor accused of influencing police in favor of political allies. And I, I think this is, it's, it's a positive thing that some of these stories are coming to light. And along with, you know, the banker deaths, it, it seems to, it seems as if some of the, the corruption is being exposed some of the large masses of power that have been leveled against us are being broken up to some extent. So that's why I, I bring this up. Also, this is uh, the uh, New Orleans may former corporate executive who became mayor in 2002, pledging to modernize city government and instead became an emblem of government dysfunction in the months and years after Hurricane Katrina was found guilty in federal court on Wednesday on 20 counts of bribery and fraud. So some justice coming to New Orleans. From RT, this is some uh, pleasant news, tens of thousands of Connecticut residents refuse to register guns under new law. So this is a this is a primer for the rest of us. Uh, you know they're they're doing this test, and uh, looks like these people have passed the tests. At least tens of thousands of them have. And uh, as the article that I had the other day stated about Bloomberg, 
getting people to first register guns and then be able to take them away. Uh, resisting the registration is really crucial in blocking that deceptive effort to disarm the American people. And uh, from New Hampshire, this, this actually came up as a tweet. I think the tweet was something like the uh, 120th reason um, to live in New Hampshire, something like that. You know, they have the Free State Project going. And in New Hampshire, House kills gun background checks bill. And uh, it, the states most were expecting an old-time gun duel with proponents and opponents facing off over House Bill 1589 to require background checks for all commercial sales of firearms. However, the guns fired blanks, and the House Wednesday spent an hour and a half in parliamentary maneuvering before finally killing the bill on a 242 to 118 vote. So, yay, New Hampshire. I want to vote to New Hampshire. <laughs> Don't we all? Except it's very cold there. The, the weather is probably not ideal, but it is a beautiful state. So kudos to New Hampshire. And for our final good news of the day, from RT, Senator Rand Paul sues President Obama over NSA call surveillance. So just, you know, some of these balls are, are being steadily, steadily, steadily moved down the field. And people are becoming more aware of what's going on and more disturbed about it. And the sleeping giant is slowly beginning to awaken and uh, help that process however you can by telling other people what's going on how they're being lied to, how they're, how they're being deceived, how they're being defrauded. And uh, together, we can insist on liberty. Thank you for tuning in for today's 99th Monkey Liberty News. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hoping that you will love one another, take care, and keep insisting on liberty.